What up, YouTube? It's your boy Savio back at it again with another reaction video, and today I will be doing the most requested video on my channel. It's close, but this is definitely the most requested video on my channel. I'm hoping you guys love it, and it's kind of like my uh, let's start the new year off with a bang kind of video. Obviously, you can see what it is down from the title below. It is KDA Pop Stars, the League of Legends song from I believe two years ago one year ago hold on uh, from a year ago like almost exactly a year ago the only thing i know about the song is what i know from the comment section from you guys and from my friends who play league and i know that these, these girls are animated i know that they are um like skins for the characters just like the giants video that i did and um but not like the rise video that i did that was like actual champions and these are characters so that's cool um i've seen these characters everywhere because i go to conventions i'm actually going to a convention this week so that's gonna be lit if you're in the phoenix area definitely check your boy out if you see me say hi i don't bite most of the time so say what's up to your boy but I've seen these characters before and I don't really know anything about the characters except that they're hot but um, I'm interested to see how they use the characters in this animation. This video has been super super requested. I don't know if that's just because it has like the, the K-pop girls in it and you K-pop fans are freaking psycho um, or if it's because the song is just so great, the video is so great, I don't know, but we're gonna get into it and see what they got for me today. If you like this video, definitely make sure to hit that like button, leave comments down below to let me know that you liked it, and I may do the live version, I know that there's, that there's a live version of this that people also wanted me to react to, so we'll see how this video goes and see if we get to that as well. Alrighty guys, I'll see you on the other side. Peace. One other quick thing is if I sound funny, I am sick. I've actually been trying to get this video out to you guys for a while. I was gonna drop this video on Christmas day, but then I was like, Ugh, I don't feel good. Then I lost my voice. It was just, ugh, it was bad, okay? Your boy has not had a good holiday season, so <sighs> show me some love. Take it easy on me. I know I sound weird. I'm trying, okay. In the background, I don't know if you hear those hey, hey, hey's, but uh, they're definitely filtered a lot to the point where you almost can't tell that that is, you know, the, the typical thing. If you listen to hip hop a lot, the, there's a lot of like haze in the background in the production. And that's what that sounds like it was just filtered super heavily. The first person who was in the subway with the, the dragon on their back, um, I don't know who that is. I don't know who the, the, the rapper for that is or like who the character is, but um, I'm assuming it's one of the K-pop girls from G Idol. It might it might be, um, what was the girl's name? Uh, so Soyeon from the Giants video, uh, because I know that people told me that she's in this group and she's also in this song so i don't know if that's her or if she comes in later for a different character but uh i like her character design a lot like a lot a lot again as i've said i've seen it before in full in person in cosplays whatever and i think it's dope how they kind of give her that like that graffiti street kind of aesthetic um i just think that's dope and she has like the little KDA hat. Um, this chick, uh, who is, sounds a lot like uh, Madison Beer, but it might be this uh, Gyra Burn, 
Jaira, Jaira Burns person. I'm, I'm a, I'm gonna call her Jaira from here on. Mrs. Burns, got it. Um, it might be Mrs. Burns, or it might be another person from G Idol. I don't know how many people are in G Idol, but K-pop fans tend to have all of the people in them. I'm talking like 27 members. So who knows how many of, of those members are in this song? Um, but this character looks like a villain. Like she looks scary so i'm not sure if she's gonna end up like battling with them if they're gonna they're gonna chill they're all a group i don't know but their images very much are opposing to each other so that's pretty interesting For that section, that sounds like a, probably like a pre-chorus section or maybe a bridge where they cut out all the percussion and just gave you this like super like trance like sense in the background and let this K-pop singer, I, I don't know who it is, I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comment section down below, but let the sexy Kisune singer person um, sing over that. And I thought that was a really smart choice, especially if they come back heavy for whatever the chorus is going to be. Um, but this might just be the second half of the verse. We will have to see as we go farther along in the song. But just in case you know this was the bridge, I wanted to stop it before the chorus came in and be like, that was a, a really smart choice. Whoa, that was, whoa, whoa, that was gorgeous from when they like turned like the black light effect on and you had like all the spray paint everywhere and it was like the dragon in the subway that turned into the actual like Asian dragon behind them and it transitioned into what I'm assuming is the chorus considering they're repeating the word down five times uh, and they're all dancing together. So I'm guessing they're not going to be fighting, but yeah, that's. That was really impressive cinematography. That's not something that you would normally see from like a traditional music video. So that was dope. I don't know who that was singing in that section, uh, the Ain't Nobody Bringing Us Down, 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 Down section. I really, really like their voice though. Really crisp and smooth and clear. Uh, sounds very much to be in their chest voice. The beginning section where they say uh, the Ain't Nobody Bringing Us part sounds to be more in a, I don't know if it's a different singer, but if it's the same singer, then that sounds to be more in a a combo mix which is it's not all the way your falsetto which if you don't know what that is it's like the really nasally like light angel type singing that people do so it doesn't seem to be all the way in the person's falsetto but it seems to be like a, a mixed combo range in between their chest voice and their head voice and it seemed like an experimental choice. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it, whoever it was, even if it wasn't the same singer. But the person who was singing the, the next following section in the chorus, the Ain't Nobody Bringing Us Down, 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 Down section, they sound great. So whoever that is, much love to you because that was clean. Okay, so, oh, perfect timing. Um, so, again, whoever this person is, this character with the hat and the graffiti and the, the demon mask, um, that person can rap, bro. Like, hey, eh, I'm not even finna waste the time here. That person can straight up spit. Not only was that person spitting in two languages, 
they switched up the flow three times. Like, they had a triplet flow in there. They had a slower flow when they started rapping in English. When they were rapping in English, they weren't really saying much. They, it wasn't, like, the lyricism that really blew me. It was more the technique um, and the flow and the cadence of whoever that rapping was. Yeah, but they smashed that verse. Like, that was, that was hard. Another great transition. I don't know the powers of any of these characters, so you guys are gonna have to enlighten me in the comment section, but whoever the, the again, the, the sexy fox girl, the kitsune with the diamond tails are so, such good character design, oh my god. But, um, I don't know if her powers have to do with the bubbles, or if that's just like, because she was a laundromat for some unapparent reason. Um, but like when she was like floating in between like the broken glass and the quasars, which are what those those long lights are called. They use them a lot like in the film industry, in music videos, uh, and in some office buildings. They also use them. Um, but that was, again, so, so beautiful. Like to see just the from a, a animation standpoint, the song is good. But the video so far, like the video is amazing. This seems like a break section. Um, per whoever this is, I don't know who this person is, but uh, the character who's like flashing by, as you can clearly see, it's on beat with the snare and it's starting to speed up. Uh, and given how much time's left in the song, I'm assuming they're about to go into the last and final chorus. So I'm expecting some type of like speed up, speed up, speed up, drop, uh, which is similar to what they do in was it Rise? Yes, believe it was right. Um, and again, drops are common all over EDM, in K-pop, pop, hip hop, everywhere. There, if if it's electronic music in any type of capacity, drops happen all the time. So I'm curious to see how this third chorus sounds different compared to the rest of them because usually you don't drop into something that's identical to what we've heard before you change it up in some kind of capacity and make the listener's brain go oh i know this but it's slightly different um and it you know it creates this like whoa effect and so let's see what they do for this third and final chorus you know whatever the case that's pretty Okay, um, that was genius. That was, that, that looks super cool. But that was from a, a production standpoint where they, again, they set up the drop and they gave you an anti-drop. Instead of dropping directly into the chorus, they cut all the sonic music out. And so all you hear is, uh, I think she says, ain't nobody bringing us, ain't nobody bringing us, uh, twice. So instead of, of, of getting the boom that you expected, you, you get nothing. And it's kind of like when people say, sometimes the best thing to say is nothing at all. This is, is an example of that, where they, they build up all this tension and instead of a release, you get nothing. And you're like, what? Ain't nobody ringing us, boom, right in your face and, and hits you. Uh, and it sounds like somebody in the background is, is going crazy. I don't know who that is, but we're about to see you know how that, that backing vocal continues.
Yeah, I was right. Whoever whoever did that background vocal snapped in the, in the third chorus. That was that was bananas. Yeah, so that was that was really really great. I probably missed some stuff in there because it's my first time seeing it. It happens. Every time I go back and watch these again, I'm like, oh man, I should have said this or I should have talked about that or whatever the case may be. But that was my first reaction slash analysis of it. The ending, the ending shot. Oh my God. With the, the big moon sun thing in the back where it goes black light, black light effect. And then it goes into like this like negative, like black and red kind of, I don't know. It was dope though. I liked it. And again, whoever that singer was in the background crushed, crushed them runs as the song was going out. They should have had that higher. I mean, I could hear it, but it like be more present in the mix. Let me, let me hear this person sing their heart out. But overall, yeah, really great video. The video kind of had an obsession with Lamborghinis. Like there was just a bunch of Lamborghini imagery there. Like at one point, one of the characters was like laying down all sexy. It was like a Lambo on her hip. Um, and there was like a Lambo at the end. At one point there was like, they were like lined up, which I don't mind. I like Lamborghinis. It just seemed a little out of place for the video as a whole, because there wasn't really any other materialistic stuff in the video. Most of it was like, look at this beautiful video we can make and here are great singers go at it and then like hey lambo 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 lambo, lambo. and you're like whoa lambo unless one of the characters is somehow tied to lamborghini that really felt like a product placement so i don't know but yeah i i like the song giants is still my favorite song of the group um i i really like what the singers did on this song a lot probably even more than giants but the production on giants is just bananas so it still takes the cake for me but this is definitely up there i didn't dislike anything about the song it just wasn't my favorite and that's okay i'm sure some of you guys will lose your mind over that but eh, that's my opinion it is what it is i'm being honest so yeah prob probably my Second favorite of the group. This and this and Rise are battling for second place. Um, I'm excited to see the live version of this. So again, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So I know that you guys like this type of content. And I'll get to making some more of these. Uh, tell me what other videos you want me to react to, whether it be other league songs or just other music videos, musical artists, music songs, whatever and I will do my best to get to them. And in the meantime, you guys have a great day and a happy new year. Peace.